How to use Milenote for beginners. Hello, welcome to our channel, WebWiz, and in this tutorial, I will teach you how to use Milenote. So please watch till the end of the video to properly understand the tutorial. So if you guys are wondering, you can straight up go to Milenote website by clicking the link down there in the video description below. So without further ado, let's get started. So first, what is a Milenote or Milenote website? So this website allows people to manage their projects or organize all of their ideas into a visual board. So as you can see right here on the center of the page, here's the workspace of the Milenote. So this is where you will manage all of your projects and designs. So if you want to use Milenote, you will need to sign up for an account first. So click sign up for free right here. Then after that, you will need to provide your name and then your last name and as well your email address. So you can use any Gmail account you want. So also you will need to provide a password for your account. So this is the first way to make an account of Milanote. The second way is by using your Google account or Apple ID and you can see it by just scrolling down and as you can see, you can sign up with Google or sign up with your Apple ID. So me, I'm just going to sign up with my Google account. So. You will need to agree on the terms and policy of the Milenote before you proceed. So I'm going to agree with this and choose my Google account to sign in. So I'm going to choose this. And after you sign in, you will be directed to the workspace of Milenote. But first, you will need to describe yourself. So for example, you're a freelancer or you work at creative agency. Anything that suits your status, you can choose. So me, I'm just going to choose any of this i'm going to choose student so next is what are you currently studying so if you're studying graphic design if you are studying film creative writing you can choose anything so after that just click get started and right after that you will access the workspace so here is the workspace as you can see it's just like a blackboard where you can put any ideas or any data you want so for example this is the components that you can add in your visual board so for example you can add notes you can add links you can add you know deadlines or you can even add image and pictures and also you can draw so here on the top right you will see the settings so if you click that you can see your account settings or you can log out also you can choose to upgrade for a higher premium plan of your account so right here on the settings you can do that and also beside that you will see a notification bell where you can see news and also you can search anything in your workspace and also if you are stuck in your project you want help just click help right here beside the search bar and also as you can see there is also a mobile icon right here where you can see that you can use Milanote in your mobile phone so Milanote is very uh very flexible in terms of its access so now if you want to create a you know project first thing you need to do is to add a project board so in order to do that just click and drag this blue icon right here on the left side and just drag it somewhere in your workspace so there you will need to rename it in order to add a new board so i'm going to rename it as project one and after you create your project new board then just double click it and right there you can now edit it so now you can choose a template, you can choose it to be empty, but you can choose any of this template right here. You can choose mood board, creative grip, project plan, storyboard, and weekly plan. So this is the types of projects that you can create. You can create a something like a uh, deadline board so or storyboard, project plan, research event, you can use it. So after that, I'm going to choose empty board first. So now if you want to edit something in your workspace, the, here is the components that you can add. You can add a note. So just click and drag it somewhere in your workspace and some right there. You can now add your notes, any notes that you want in your project. Depends on what type of projects you are making. So for example, I'm going to add an, uh, one assignment. So I'm going to add assignment one and I'm going to align it somewhere. So somewhere right here on the right. And after that, you can add a link. So if you want to link something in your project, if you want to link your profile in your Facebook, you want to link your Instagram, or if you want to link an external project on something, you can add a link. So for example, I'm going to add my Instagram link. I'm going to go to my profile and copy the link. Go back to Milanote and paste the link right here. And here we go. Easy as that. So I'm going to align this also below the note. And... 
okay let's align this both of this to a proper position so i'm going to align this on the left yeah i think the left is better and right there so if you want to add a task you can also add it so just drag and click to do right here on the left side and just add any task you want to add in your project so for example i'm going to add a for example deadline so i have a deadline so this type of project i'm making is like you know a a deadline project so in order to manage my deadlines better so for example deadline today and i'm going to add another uh deadline so do a push ups for example <laughs> And right there you can also align it on other spaces if you want so after that you can add the line so this is the other components that you can add on my Linode. you can add the line and connect two or more components that you want to connect so for example i'm going to connect this task into a note so i'm going to add another notes right here so for example i'm going to uh, write on the notes need to start today at 4 p.m. or yeah 4 p.m. let's do it and after that right here as you can see if you drag again the line and connect it on the notes you can see they are now connected so you can drag it anywhere you want but the arrow will follow and right here that's how you connect each components on the workspace and as you can see you can also put a column so a column is a component that groups all of your components so as you can see you insert a column you can name it whatever you want so for example i'm going to add this note right here and this link so, so you can see they are now connected and also i'm going to you know drag the task right here and i'm going to rename the column into my daily life so as you can see this is my daily life and my assignment and this is my ig story and this is my task every day and i need to start at 4 p.m so that's it as you can see i already made visual graphics about my daily activities and that's it that's how you use mylanote so you can add other components just like com comments if you want to comments in your project you can input it for example i'm going to add i am tired and i'm going to add a note so for example the reason why i'm tired is that i'm going for a trip tomorrow and it's going to be a long trip so after that i am very tired and that's it you can also connect this the comments so as you can see you can connect everything so yeah and also you can edit the components that you input just double click it if you want to edit it so for example i'm going to edit this uh, component my column so as you can see i can change the color so for example i'm going to edit this note so right here after you double click it there will be a tool or an another settings that will pop up on the left so you here you can change the heading you can change the text type you can italize it and after that you can also change the header color for example i'm going to change the header color into red so as you can see the comment has been highlighted to a color red so if you want to change the alignment you can also do it just double click on the text and click the alignment tool on the left side and that's it you can also change the whole card color not just the highlight so i'm going to change this to orange i'm going to change this one to red but note that the column does not change its whole color so you can you can highlight it but you can change its color so i'm going to add another arrow and connect this one to this one and right after that if you want to add an image you can add image just click the image icon and right here you can add templates image on the myla note itself but you can upload your own so i'm going to drag a random image right there for an example so if you want to add it just click upload your own and you will you can choose any pictures in your pc or laptop or even cell phone so you can also draw just click the drawing tool on the bottom part then you're going to draw anything that you want in your project and you can also delete your drawing by clicking the eraser tool as you can see right here and then you can also select something on your drawing and as well as the height or the size of the line of your drawing you can change it and yeah you can also change the pencil color so if you want another color just click the color tool and just choose another color 
And after that, if you want to save your drawing, just click save right here beside the discard button. So I'm going to erase this first, my drawing. I'm going to add another note. Yeah, right there, I'm going to save this one. So after you're done with your drawing, just click save and right here, you're done. And that's it for the components of Milo Note that you can use to edit your project. So for example, you want to share this project to your co-workers so for example you want them to edit this project just click share button on the top right corner and copy the link of your mylanote project and that's it just share it to them and if you want to export it to a another file for example a pdf just click export right there beside the share button there will be an export button right there just click it and after that you will need to choose what type of file that you want so for example, you want to save it as Word document, you want to save it as an image, or you want to save it as a small size PDF or large size PDF, it's up to you. So me, I'm just going to choose PDF large size. I'm going to click this one, and after that, it will now start downloading. So as you can see, it starts loading. And after the download is completed, just click the file in order to see your project. So this is my project right here as you can see i'm done with my design so this is my daily activities and that's it that's how you use milo note for beginners and i hope you learned something from this tutorial please like and subscribe to our channel and see you in the next one bye